Hello there and welcome back to Bolts for Bucks. My name is Stephen Bresno and today we're going to be going over how to cut out the foam inserts in a gun case so that they fit the rifle uh, to a custom fit the easy, quick, sweet and short way. So we're going to be using a Cedar Mills, or excuse me, Cedar Mill uh, Fine Firearms case. Highly recommend these case. Very, uh, very well built cases. Go ahead and check them out. I'll put a link in the description for this case. We're going to be using a Ruger American. Uh, this one happens to be in 270 Winchester for the example here. A Havlon Piranha knife. And of course a clamshell to change out the blades. But we'll only need one blade. So this is, like I said, going to be the super quick, easy, fastest way to do this um, that comes out the best. So let's go ahead and get things started. First, of course, we're going to make sure that the rifle is empty and safe. All right, good to go there. We'll put that out of the way for right now. I know my work quarters are really funny right now. It's because I didn't have enough room to do this in my regular shop. We're gonna take the Havilon, which you can use any really, really sharp knife to do this, but I recommend the Havilon as their blades are, in my opinion, superior to most other knives as far as <clears throat> being extremely sharp and easy to use. Put a blade on there, that out of the way. Open up this case here. And as you can see, this case, let me see if I get this to prop up correctly, comes with a nice level of pluck at, pluckable foam. But when you pluck it, what happens is, is it comes out kind of like a, a stair stepper look or it looks really gappy when you put your gun in there. So to pluck it, it just doesn't look as nice as if you cut it. Now the normal way to do it is to lay down your rifle in the case and then outline it with a marker and then cut on the outline with a knife um, or with a, a hot knife. But the, the faster, simpler way, if you have a gun that you're not too worried about scuffing up, you know, maybe a wood stock or something like that, it's just simply trace the outline with the knife to begin with. Now this does have two layers of foam, so there's two ways of doing this. You can take out one layer and put this back in so that you don't actually cut in the second layer, or you can just kind of run shallow with your finger and make sure it doesn't go into the second layer. So first things first, I'm going to <clears throat> lay this rifle just where I want it. In this case, is very nice and slick and slim. It's just the right size for a, a hunting rifle like this, which makes it really nice and compact, yet ha still has enough room. So we're gonna go ahead, like it right about, we've got about an inch, two inches there, two inches here, little gap on top here. All right, so I'm just gonna lay it right where I want it. And then I'm going to literally take the knife and I'm going to trace the outside of this. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm actually cutting in at an angle towards the firearm with the blade so that it gives it a nice snug fit. If you have a scope, that's always the trickiest spot to get just right. I'm sure that there may be more precise ways, but there is almost certainly not as in a, a fast way to do this as this method here. All right, and there you have it. Now I'll remove the firearm, place it over to the side, and then you're just going to carefully take this. Now if it catches anywhere, you're just going to Cut that where it catches. You'll see that this is very fast and effective. Like I said, probably not the perfect way, but a very fast and effective way. So as you can see, we took off that top layer, just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now we're just going to lay this rifle in here and voila, there you have it folks. 
the fastest, easiest, and most effective way to cut out a foam insert to put your rifle in the rifle case. Hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you did, and I look forward to hearing back from you in the comments section.